my name is Amanda Hamilton and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the flowering dogwood um, out of gum paste. Now the flowering dogwood, which looks just like this, is the state flower of Virginia and North Carolina as well as I believe it's the state tree of Missouri. Um, it's a very, very popular flower, especially with southern weddings, but the dogwood is probably in our leaves to be stuck right up against our flowers. So go ahead and just using that same technique where we kind of pinch and roll. And what you want to do is you want to make sure your tape goes all the way up to your gum paste. So once you get it started, go ahead and see if it'll slide for you, slide it on up there and it'll give it a nice finished look. You don't necessarily need to go all the way down um, because chances are it's not going to stick out that far, but if you want to be very thorough, you sure, is, you, uh, you sure can go all the way down to the bottom. Where'd my scissors go? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do, we have sort of a two to one ratio going on right now with our leaves to our blossoms. Um, so what you can start to do is you can either kind of pair up your leaves with your blossoms and build from there. Or if you have a, a particular shape you're trying to accomplish with your, uh, with your topper, uh, you need to keep that in mind if, you, if it needs to be kind of long and narrow or if you want it very rounded. Um, you need to keep all those things in mind when you take my wax paper and my pencil and I'm just going to wrap it around my tear. Now you want to make sure that your pattern, that flat piece is flush with the bottom and we're just going to go ahead and very carefully mark it. Do not press down too hard with your pencil. You do not want to, you do not want to make um, make a mark on your cake. You just want to mark your pattern. So, and move your cake out of your way so you can see. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but that is where we marked with our pencil. And all we're going to do is we're going to take that straight edge. We're going to find that mark and we're going to fold it. Make sure those edges are flush and we're going to fold it so that it is the exact length of where we marked the circumference of our tier. And just go ahead and cut that extra off. Okay. Now you have a piece of wax paper that is in a strip that is the exact length of your tear. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually start designing our pattern. Now one of the things you need to keep in mind is you want to have enough room um, uh, starting at the bottom of your tear to where your extension work starts so that you can get your fingers underneath it. And what I mean by that is you don't want your string work to come so far down to the bottom of the tear that you can't move your tear once it's finished. String work is incredibly delicate. Uh, strings break just you look cross-eyed at them and they break so you want to make sure that there is enough around the bottom so if you're going to do any sort of piping or detail work at the bottom you can still accommodate getting a piping bag in there getting your fingers in there and moving your tear around um, for this these particular tiers uh, as we have in our design you'll notice we have our our uh, our string work doing this almost scalloped um, almost swag appearance so what we're going to do is we're actually going to line our um, the top of our pattern up to the edge of our tear. The other thing to keep in mind is um, is the size of the tip that you're going to be using to pipe your strings. The smaller the tip you use, the more points you're going to get. 